had to say I was broke. Tell them battle, battle, battle. Now I got my fans up. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bucks and the Birds next on Madden Football. Temps a little hot today at Lincoln Financial Field, but keep in mind it is technically still summer as we get you ready for some football in Philly. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to get them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off the season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 13 yards on the game's opening play. First down catch there by Goddard, and that's something he did on over 55% of his catches a season ago. He's a dependable target in the passing game. Sometimes he can be spectacular. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Yaya Diaby, he's the one who got in there. He gets the sack. At the 34 yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. Flush to his right. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Okay, look at this, the punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Catch made here by Campbell. And he is trying to get to the marker. Going to depend on the spot, but I'm not sure he got there, and he did not. So just shy of midfield, they tried it, didn't work out. What did you think? I thought that they should have punted the ball away. Should have gotten rid of it and played defense with better field position. Look, I'm as aggressive as anyone wanting to go for it on offense, but in this situation, it yeah, doesn't... first half. I don't know that there's any risk. I mean, what's the reward for, for your risk here? I would not have done that. My only explanation is this coach... He may want to be up here in the booth with us. We may have a three-man booth <laughs> starting next week if he keeps up with those. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Shepard will go in motion right. Here's Mayfield. And this is Shepard on the catch. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Mayfield now. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Now Mayfield. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. 
You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So they run the option here on first and ten. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. From the gun, it's Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. To throw, Mayfield. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Mayfield, he finds his target, it's Evans. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring us to a third and four. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. you got to know as a quarterback, it's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position. And he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 46. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. A first down carry for Barkley. Dances by him, and down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Throwing his hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown! Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs for different routes and be precise in your cuts. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was finished off by a touchdown from Devon. Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. It's still in the first half, but this offense has struggled, haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they got it with a first and ten. First carry for Rashad White. And he's got room. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Opting to run again here with White. Good footwork at the 30. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. They'll go up the middle with White. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 25 yards for the rookie Rashad White. And the Bucs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that drive, four plays. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything's working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's going on on the defensive That's side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Here's second and ten. Mayfield looks to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Shepard. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Mayfield to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. This is caught. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. White is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to Philadelphia getting set to take the field. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll try the right side here. Barkley, broken tackle. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he gets it up past the 35. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. On third down, Barkley. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. The offense stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. It's a gain of seven on fourth and four. First and ten at the 39-yard line. 
They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Joe Tryon showing in pursuit that time, and he gets the tackle for loss. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 22-yard line. Straight ahead, it's game well. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to 7. Second and six. He'll look to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Now back to throw. Flushed out right. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles! C.J. Uzama from 10 yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Elliott good on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. To Evans on the slant. Now the Bucks going to use the first... as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing, Mayfield. Well, this one taken in by Otten. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. 
And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Able to find the open man. That's complete. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. His throw incomplete. That was well played, but that's also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime the ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 17-yard line. They'll look to throw again. He's got Otten on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied Charles so as we start the third quarter. Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. He's got Otten. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 48-yard line, here's second and two. Here's Mayfield. But looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he's going to get this down to the 45-yard line. Going right side is White. He's got it to the 43 here. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Now Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Mayfield now. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. Now back to the ground game with White. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. 
That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Okay, so the personal foul penalty, and those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. Complete right side to Otten. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. White diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Before the snap, they called for the heavy unit, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. So that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. From the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. He was covered by Antoine Winfield. Up the middle with Barkley. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. In motion left, Shepard. To throw, Mayfield. Here's White. They set up the screen. Fighting ahead at the 15. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. In motion goes the tight end. Mayfield off the play fake. Quick hitter here, it's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. White running to the left. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, Mayfield. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Milton Williams drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. And this one is right through. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So this time the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier. And this time, there's no penetration. So they're able to pick up three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. 
down the left sideline. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now a toss right to Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of eight there on the first down play. A big loss on first down leads to a tricky second down. 18 yards to go. Hurts sets up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Boy, CD, what a way to score. You want to talk about a roller coaster of emotions. They got the big play, then they cough it up. It seems to be disastrous, but his teammate is there to scoop it and score it. Not much else I can add to that, partner. I'll just say one thing. We just saw momentum swing several times on one play. Elliott good with a PAT, and that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try to keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Mayfield. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Trying to find Barkley on the out route, and he's got it. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. A handoff, Barkley running left. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Hurts. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Second and 10. 
Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 98 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. On first and ten, it's Gainwell. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Here's Hurts to throw. And this heads straight to the sideline. I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. Nope, they won't. Here comes the flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and ten here. Mayfield to throw it. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. They defer to White out of the shotgun. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Mayfield looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bucs first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Throwing Mayfield. Left side here. That's complete to Godwin. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Finding Evans here. Going across the middle of the field. And Evans will have a box first down as he'll get it down inside the 25. In motion, the tight end. First down, here's White. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Cade Otten from 21 yards away. And the Bucs are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles now down by 10, 2.25 remaining. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. Throwing his hurts. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. They'll come up now. This is second and long. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Being chased out left. 
And this is into the hands of Campbell downfield. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Now first and goal. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll buy some time right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Elliott good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So a minute and change to go, and this is going to be an onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he is going to have a Bucks first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. It's a gain of eight there, and that should be enough to seal the victory. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And they will take a knee here. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.